Guys, can you tell me something about the Urban RQ yeah. project that you were involved in? Yeah, Urban RQ was a uh, pilot we did here in Amsterdam mm -hmm. um, around the topic of envir environmental sensing by, uh, done by communities, by citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, and in Urban RQ what we did is we uh, asked people living on very polluted streets in Amsterdam to come in at Waag. We provided mm -hmm. them with technology that can uh, do air quality me measurements. Um, and we asked them what kind of questions would you like to be answered. Mm -hmm. So they came up with a strategy to measure. Uh, they measured for two months, uh, had real life uh, access to the data, so they could see the, uh, the air quality was uh, uh, the difference between rush hours and, uh, and during the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. And in the end, we asked uh, our partner from KNMI, which was also involved in the uh, Urban Air Q project, to help us with some data analysis. Are there also other stakeholders participating in this project or not? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We had people from uh, Wageningen, from Altera, which are people that are very much specialized in sensor technology. Uh -huh. They are the ones who uh, helped us developing this, these, these sensors. Yeah. Uh, we had people from uh, KNMI, yeah, I mentioned before, that uh, helped us with analysis of data. Uh -huh. We had GGD Amsterdam, which is the institute that measures air quality on the uh, city level. Uh -huh. uh, and we were allowed to uh, hang our sensors next to their very professional expensive ones to be able to calibrate, to see, yeah. uh, to get the maximum uh, results out of these, uh, these cheaper sensors. Uh, and we had the Lung Foundation, which is a foundation that is concerned about people with yeah. lung diseases. Those are people who are uh, uh, very much uh, dependent on the air quality around them. Mm -hmm. Um, so you can also hang these sensors just around in, in every street. Uh, why is it with citizens? Well, um, I think it's very important that you uh, have a discussion about the data and who owns the data. Uh, I mean, uh, air quality data is public data. At this moment, the official institutes, they mostly measure averages uh, or they do some model c calculations about mm -hmm. averages. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is all about the averages sh shouldn't uh, be uh, higher than the European standard. Yeah. Well, if you take it into citizens' hands, they're going to start uh, different questions. Mm -hmm. uh, like what's differences between front yard, backyard, um, like what are the, the, the rush hours where we should, should avoid going outside because uh, this is like a peak of, of bad air quality. Um, so it's, it's very much important when you're collecting public data, which air quality mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. that you give citizens the, the access to this data and mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. let them start asking their questions that they like to see answered yeah. on this data. A group of 20, 25 people started making a sort of co-creation, uh, a strategy of measuring. So yeah. he said, Together okay. with the experts. Or, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so they said, okay, what if you would like to see the difference between this and it? What's uh -huh. the best way to locate our sensors? Okay, yeah. so then you have a sensor there, you have a sensor there. There was like one community member who was really taking the lead in this and uh -huh. was, was, uh, was registering every uh, location and to uh -huh. see if like the whole area was covered. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, so we had a strategy, and then I think uh, a couple of weeks later, we were able to uh, do some calibration of these sensors. Uh -huh. And uh, the citizens, where were they involved? Well, first of all, they were involved in um, creating the measurement strategy, uh, creating the, the, the questions that the, these uh, sort of technologies should answer. Um, they were involved in connecting the sensor to in their home, uh, mm -hmm. to ask where in your home would you like to have it. Mm -hmm. uh, they were uh, involved in, they had real life uh, access to the data, so during this period they could just go to the website and see, okay, this is a good point. Mm -hmm. um, and well, the data analysis was a little bit more uh, complicated than we expected in the first, mm -hmm. uh, at mm -hmm. first, so mm -hmm. we needed some experts on the, on the topic to, yeah. to help us mm -hmm. with this. Um, but we saw later on that people that joined the pilot took the data that was interpreted uh -huh. by, uh, by and, and have new discussions with the municipality. So they already were going to like these evenings where you could complain about stuff. Yes. But now they went to these, uh, uh -huh. these evenings with the sort of with the data. data in their yeah. hand and they were like, okay, but I have data here that, that yeah. says the street is way more polluted than, yeah. than yeah. the averages. Yeah. So yeah. this gave people really 
an idea of okay I have something that I measured myself that I trust because yeah. we have experts that are validating it yeah. uh, and now I can start a new discussion with uh, with the municipality or other stakeholders. Yeah. About the results, what are for you the outcomes of the project? Um, well, next to the data and uh, the citizens who are now being informed about their situation, I think uh, the, the main goal for this pilot was to show how and uh, well, to show that you can involve citizens in measuring environmental uh, issues. Mm -hmm. um, and I think for, for example, making sense, the idea is to come up with a met method or a methodology Uh, mm -hmm. that helps other parties to do the same that we did here. How can you get yeah. people in? Yeah. How can you give them uh, the feeling of empowerment? Yeah. Uh, how can you open technology? Uh, and how can you uh, do that uh, with a community that feels that they are getting sort of uh, yeah. ownership over their environment yeah. and over the data about this? And, and what are the, the challenges in, in doing that? Well, I think... Um, Always when you're discussing or using technology, some people will get a bit frightened that it's too, too complicated, that it's mm -hmm. too uh, difficult for them. Mm -hmm. So you have to look at a way that uh, if you open up technology, it gets more complicated. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, it's also a way to show people that they have influence on this technology. So mm -hmm. you have to balance between how easy is it for a citizen to use this and how open and Uh, for example, if you do uh, open source hardware and software, you can change all kinds of uh, different bits, but mm -hmm. it gets mm -hmm. more complicated for the people that are just interested in air quality. Yeah. So you have to find a way to combine uh, both of these, uh, for example, on the, the, the maker spaces and the, and the makers mm -hmm. uh, and the concerned citizen about uh, air quality. And, and this line is a bit, well, it's, it's like searching for the right uh, tone of voice, the, yeah. The, yeah. Like what kind of uh, complex issues are you giving to the citizens or yeah. you just give them a box, start measuring. Yeah. There's yeah. something in between yeah. there. That's yeah. A couple of years ago, we started with the uh, Smart Citizen Kit together with the municipality of Amsterdam that measures uh, not only air quality, but also noise, uh, light. So mm -hmm. we gave this to 100 citizens in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. We learned a lot about this uh, and we saw that for... Uh, Urban Air Cube, we focused on air quality mm -hmm. because this topic, uh, there's a lot to explore about this topic. Yeah. So we uh, evolved the, the sensor a little bit into focusing just on air quality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, um, I think what we try to do with Urban Air Cube is showing that technology can be used for these kinds of topics, that mm -hmm. it's not very uh, scary or, or complicated because everybody can do it. Everybody can plug in a sensor at home and start measuring. Mm -hmm. um, and that I think what is also interesting that we learned and we have to explore further in the future is the relationship between, uh, between the citizen mm -hmm. uh, that is um, living in the city and the municipality. For example, a uh, municipality has certain data about air quality, yes. but if a citizen starts measuring itself, mm -hmm. um, there's an all new um, um, dialogue, an all new relationship between these two that is starting. And this is very, very interesting to explore even further yeah. on different topics, not yeah. only air quality, yeah. but uh, on all kinds of topics where yeah. technology uh, democratizes and empowers people, um, uh, new kinds of relationships between stakeholders come up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think this is what we will try to explore even further in yeah. the future on many different topics. Yeah. Okay, so thanks a lot for telling us about uh, this project and we're really looking forward to, um, to see how those uh, developments What, what form they will get in future. Thanks a lot. Yep, you're welcome. Thanks.